If you have other questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them on their cards, and we will pay attention to them. I promise. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is the timeline. We really didn't want to get paralyzed by planning forever and ever and ever and not ever doing anything. So we want to begin this process this summer, first by recruiting a working committee who will oversee and manage this whole process of changes that we're making as we go forward. Uh, the projects that we want to start this summer are physical grounds projects. So the entrance to the church, which we've talked about already, uh, repairing and updating the foyer, which requires that we have uh, an architect work on designing the changes and, and doing the, the project plans and all of that kind of stuff. So it's not like we won't be doing it tomorrow. It'll take a while to get that all accomplished. Um, we, we will be repairing the parking lot. It's too soon in this process for us to be able to um, redo the parking lot. That will probably come in the next six to 12 months. So we'll make repairs to make the parking lot adequate and safe for the time being, and to get us through one more winter with it. Um, there's some interior lighting that needs to be changed. There will be a cost savings to us, and has been recommended by uh, recent recent uh, energy surveys of the building, and rehab the bathrooms. Can I see the next slide, please? Okay, then late July, the strategic planning working group is uh, going to complete their process and, and get their report to the board and then we'll move from there. And their work includes all of the programmatic kinds of changes that people are looking for. Uh, for fall 2013, we'll commit, continue working with the committees and the congregation to discern and prioritize the projects that we want to have going forward. Now there's a relationship, and Dick will talk about this, relationship between what we can do and how much money we have. So the prioritization will allow us to see where we go first and, and how much we'll be able to accomplish ultimately. Uh, in December, at the annual meeting, we're going to ask the congregation to vote to authorize a capital campaign to begin to raise funds for this. And we're hoping to complete that all in a year by December 2014. Now, all of these dates are very flexible. Things can move uh, depending on the ideas that people have and depending on the things that come come around and what you have to say. Things can change a huge amount. So you do not look at these dates like they're written in stone because they are not. They're made up and they're made up to get us in action and move us forward. But they can change really easily. Thanks.